What's up, you guys? I'm Regina. I work a full-time job, but I resell part-time on eBay. But today, we're going to talk about why I'm no longer checking comps right now, and we're going to get into a little bit of what's sold on eBay. So let's get into the video. Let's talk about comps and sell-through rate. Now, that's very important when you're um, looking up an item, you need to check the comps on eBay and we'll talk about that further. But I just want to tell you what I'm doing right now. I think it's very important to check the comps so because you want to make sure if you have a good item that's going to sell on eBay and then the sell through rate, you want to see how often that item is selling. So I haven't been checking comps right now. And let me tell you why, because I have a lot of inventory in my house and right now i'm just trying to list it on ebay and see how much of the items that i can sell so these are just random items i'm not checking any comps or sell through rate because these items have been given to me so all the items that you all have been seeing selling are just items that i have been listing um, from free inventory and items out of my closet. I'm trying to get a lot of stuff out of my house because like I told y'all, my husband been giving me the side out. He like, get this junk out of here. So I'm trying to make a profit off of most of the inventory in my house right now and all of my death pals. A lot of my death pals are old inventory that I purchased without checking comps because back in the day I was just picking up items and just putting them and throwing them up on eBay, throwing them up on Poshmark. So when I do go back to the Goodwill, I will be more intentional about what I'm picking up. But right now I'm just trying to clear out inventory. I just thought I should tell you all that because I don't think I didn't want you all to think she just randomly throwing stuff up there. No, I have a purpose and a process of how I'm doing things. I'm not a full-time reseller, so I don't depend on eBay to pay none of my bills over here. I got multiple streams of income over here, and eBay just happens to be one of them. I just enjoy doing this. I try not to make things hard on me, and you have to find your reason as to why you're selling. So don't get stressed out about it. Um, what other people doing too because they will stress you out looking at other resellers and trying to emulate what they're doing I've always done my own thing now I would try other things and try to sell other things but for me I'm walking in my goals and my purpose over here so I just wanted to let you all know what I was doing I'm just trying I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of inventory so that's what I'm doing for my um eBay side business or whatever you want to call it because it's just a part-time like hobby like little thing for me it brings some income it puts some change in my pocket and that's fine for me I probably make about $300 a month selling on eBay part-time so those are my goals I just thought we'll talk about them since you know I just wanted to be clear and let you all know what's going on so so let's go ahead and talk about these goals that I have. So I was getting up early in the morning. Well, it is early in the morning now, but I'm going to be changing the channel around how I do things because I got to do things efficiently and not work myself to death. So I'm just going to be posting the pictures on the screen so you all can see them instead of just showing you all the physical picture because that just takes too much time early in the morning and I got to get my meditation on. I got to get my affirmations on because I got to keep my mind sharp in the morning before I go to work because I think that's very important to do. So I know y'all probably don't even mind about me putting the pictures on the screen. What y'all think about that? Because that just makes it easier on me. Y'all like my new mic? Y'all, can y'all hear me real good? I got this from Amazon. I want you all to be able to hear me crystal clear but y'all let me know how y'all like the mic i link it also in the description if you want it it's real easy to set up and it's compatible with the iphone so what's up y'all welcome back i have a dress to talk about today i had this dress probably listed for about two years and yes i am a long-term seller i keep things for a long time so this was in my closet for two years i purposely purchased it for myself but I decided I didn't want to be bothered with all these colors. So I listed it on eBay and it sold. It sold today. It's been on for two years. And I'm going to talk about what it sold for. It sold for $19. The buyer paid priority shipping of $6.09. 
after eBay took their fees out, I made a profit of $15.50. So it's sold, it's going out. It's really cute too. What's up, what's up? Let's talk about this random sale I had today, y'all. This was Kim Rogers. It's a size small, it's new with tags. I got it out of liquidation a long time ago, probably about two years ago. Sometimes I just be hanging on to items and they just be boxed up and I don't list them. So I finally list this item. It's new with tags by Kim Rogers. It's a stretch tee and it's cotton. People like sustainability. They love cotton fabrics. I know I do. It's breathable and it feels good on the skin. So I definitely understand. So this sold for $8.41. Um, shipping was $5 on this. I did do calculated shipping. eBay um, charges sales tax on the item. And so with the um, selling fees and the taxes coming out, I earned $6.91 on that. So that's not bad. I can't remember how much I paid for, but it was in a big liquidation. So it's going out today. I'm glad to get it out of my house. That's the primary goal is to get all this stuff out of my house now so today is friday and friday is a happy day y'all know we be looking forward to friday you know when you work in a full-time job and you all know i work a full-time job as a social worker so and i'm also in a cubicle now i've been in the office for 10 plus years and now i am working from a cubicle and that takes a lot to get used to so this is my plans for the weekend. I plan to clean this room up because it looks a hot mess up in here. I'm also getting rid of a lot of inventory that's not selling because you all know I told you all. I have a lot of inventory, a lot of death piles, a lot of items that I sell from my closet. And some of the items I'm going to let stay until the first of the year. So when January comes, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them. But some of them got to go now because environment is everything. I don't want to be in a bad environment. So I got a whole antique booth that I've been neglecting. I got to put some items in there. I've been saying it for a while. It's been in my mind to do it and just ain't did it. Y'all know I work 500 hours a week on the job. So y'all know it ain't no 500. It's 40 hours a week, but I drive an hour and a half to work each day. So it seems like it's about 60 hours. But just trying to fit everything in is a task. That's why it's so important not to overburden yourself and put too many tasks on yourself because sometimes we just don't have the time. We want to do it, but the time just don't permit us to do it when you're working so much. But I'm going to have to find a way to get that time in this weekend, that's one day on a Saturday. Saturday is the only day that I really get to myself because on Sunday, I'm at church. You all know I play the piano, so. We will see how the antique booth fit in. I'm not gonna put too much stress on myself. Oh, and today is casual day at work, so don't be looking at me like that, like why she got this off. It's casual day. I washed my hair yesterday and my hair looks a hot mess since I went through menopause. I know that's TMI, but a lot of things change when you go through that. I had, I went through early menopause and I got it over with. I was feeling some kind of way about it, but it happens. It's a part of life. All of us have to go through it. And to be honest, now that I think of it, it's just really a blessing to reach this age that I am and to be able to go through the stages that we go through in life because some people don't reach those stages. So, so today, y'all, I just donated a whole bunch of death piles and things that don't have that much value to sell on eBay. So it's no um, sense in me listing it on eBay. And I just want to get that stuff out of my house because it's creating anxiety and I don't care who I donated it to. And I just want it out of my house so I can feel normal. So that's what I just did. Now, I like coming here because I don't have to get out of my car. They load everything out and take it in the inside for you. 
Now, what y'all ain't going to be doing is talking about my windshield. Now, I don't told y'all I'd be driving an hour and a half to work and rocks pop up on your windshield. Dang. And every time I get a new car here in Alabama, I get a rock to crack my windshield and I take my time getting it fixed. That's what I do. But don't act like y'all ain't seen no crack windshield. But today is Sunday and today is Mother's Day. I had a long day today. I enjoyed my mother. Me and my sister, we went to my mom's house and we cooked um, and we did it real simple. We just wanted to spend time with each other. Me and my sister, we got flowers from my mom and we cooked salmon and fresh cut green beans. And my sister made a sweet potato um, casserole. It was delicious. And we had all kind of desserts and things. I'm on a keto diet, so I ate a little tiny bit of the um, sweet potato casserole. But it was a beautiful day. And, and I just had time, you know, spending time with my family and my daughter. And my dad was there. Of course, my hubby had to work. But just spending time with family, that was the best Mother's Day that I can have. But So y'all see, I'm getting rid of all of this inventory. Like I told you, I'm trying to sell as much as I can before I start strategically um, checking comps. I want you to know that checking comps is very important on any reselling platform because you want the item to sell. But like I told y'all, I got so much stuff around me right now that I'm trying to see how much I can sell before I just send it into the landfill or just donate it back. But that's what I'm doing. Thank y'all so much. If you made it this far, I appreciate all my new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe notification and make sure you hit the bell also so you can get all of my notifications and check me out on Instagram also. But I thank you all so much. I hope you all be blessed and shine bright.